muchachos, Isela here with the Trek Boss Show, and well, today we have a special guest, our friend Nikki. Hey everyone, how's it going? Well, Landon isn't here today, but he is on a special assignment. We do have a surprise for you because Landon is actually live from Indiana. He's at the protest that's taking place on I-465 today. Nikki, I think Landon has a lot of good stuff that he's bringing yes, to us today. Yes, he's bringing a lot of behind-the-scenes exclusives. He's going to be up in the cab um, bringing you guys the event. He is live out there, and he's going to be doing lives all day long, bringing you guys the inside scoop on that slow roll today in Indiana. That's right, so you don't want to miss out. And you know what? Speaking of, let's go to Landon right now. Thank you so much, ladies. As you can see, I'm live on site at the TA outside of Indianapolis on I-70. We're here at Black Smoke Matters Slow Roll, covering it live on the Truck Boss Show. They're expecting hundreds of trucks here at 10 o'clock to be able to do a truck count, and then they're going to roll out on 11 o'clock on I-465, where the hundreds of trucks are going to go in a circle twice around the entire city of Indianapolis, where we here at Black Smoke Matters, myself, are going to be on the front lines right there in the cab, covering the slow roll as it happens, live on social media, so stay tuned here at the Truck Boss Show. Plus, we have the privilege of being able to do interviews with the founders of Black Smoke Matters, the individual that actually put this whole thing together, and we're going to be talking to a couple different organizations on what their viewpoint of Black Smoke Matters and the impact of the slow roll in the industry. So stay tuned. Back to you, ladies. Well, there you have it. Nikki, what do you think? It's exciting, Wow, huh? that is so exciting. I think it's so cool how, you know, we're out there bringing you guys the exclusive behind the scenes. He's going to be live all day. It's so cool to see, you know, I'm really excited to see what's going to unfold with this slow roll. Yes, because there's going to be a lot of interesting things that are going to happen. And, of course, we don't have the opportunity to be out there. But Land is going to be bringing all the exclusives, and he is going to be live all day today. So you don't want to miss that. And the question is, will it make an impact? Or will it not? I yes. guess we'll find out. We'll find out after this. Well, speaking of Nikki, of course, you know, Trick Boss Show always brings the latest news in the industry, and you That's have right. some really good stuff for us. That's right. Let's start with the first one. Let's see here. Cargo theft across the United States were down 19% in 2018 compared to 2017, along with a 2% decrease in theft values, according to a report from cargo theft reporting firm Sensigard. California accounted for 26% of total thefts. The firm recorded a total of 592 cargo thefts in the U.S. last year worth an average of $142,342. The fourth quarter was the most active for thieves with 171 thefts compared to 159 thefts in the third quarter, 145 in the second quarter, and 117 in the first quarter. Sensegard warns that despite the drop in volume last year, the rate at which it is dropping is slowing, and organized cargo thieves in the U.S. still present a threat to highly targeted shipments. Nikki, let me tell you, that is insane. It sounds insane. I would never have, I guess, thought of that or even imagined that people would be, I, I guess it would cross their mind, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to steal this semi. It's big crazy. $142,000 worth a of lot. cargo. That's, I mean, I'm telling you, have you seen Fast and Furious? <laughs> I've seen it, but I'm I telling you, they, they show you what it's worth. <laughs> I did not think that that really happened in real life. I guess because I don't think about it. You know, you're used not to it. Not just here. in the movies, folks. Yes. It's real. It <laughs> happens. Well, we see that now. And you know what? Speaking of Nikki, let me tell you that the Star Works Motorsport, an American automobile racing team that they're based out of Fort Lauderdale, Florida, had a 2015 Black Peterbilt 389 stolen from their shop on Friday night, the 15th of February. That's crazy. They are offering right now a reward, excuse me, they are offering a reward if it's found. Now they did say that it was headed south to the Miami and Hialeah area. Let's spread the word. Let's get the semi found if it hasn't been found already. That's insane. That is just crazy. Like, how are you going to get in a big black semi and just drive off with an, like nobody noticing? No, I mean, they're so loud. Ballsy. That is pretty ballsy. But they're loud for one. Yes. Like, how does that, how do you think it's not going to go unnoticed? It is a beautiful truck. Yes. But I know that when it comes to the vehicles, Nikki, I know they've, they, you know, they steal your vehicle, they strip it down, they even change VIN numbers. Exactly. And I'm it's, hoping it's that's insane. not the case it's here. It's crazy how they go through all that trouble to, to steal something. It's like, go earn the dadgum thing yourself. No, and that's true. And you know what? Because this is how this driver makes his money. It's a sacrifice. He's worked so hard to purchase his rig and then for someone just to turn around and just easily take it. Like, are you serious? Are you not thinking about, obviously not, you know, they're not thinking about 
that person's family or this is how this person makes a living. This is their money, their life, you know. I don't know. I just think well, it's crazy. Well, I hope they get get caught and prosecuted. That's for sure. So let's let's yes. help these guys find find their truck. Yes, and if so. you want to help us out as well, just share, tag. You want to comment as well. That's you know all that is very well welcomed. We really do appreciate the help. I mean, we got to help people out. I that's think it's right. just it's let's it's spread sucks. the word. Yes. So we have a lot of information that we're bringing to you guys today. First on tap is we had the opportunity to sit down with a registered dietitian a couple weeks ago and talk about drink stimulants and what they cause in your body, how they make you feel, and some of the things that are actually included in the ingredients that you can find on the label. So check this video out with Rebecca. Hey everyone, Nikki here at the Shock Boss Show. Thank you so much for joining us today. We are with our friend Rebecca. Hi. Thank you so much for joining us today, Rebecca. We really appreciate it. Yes. Rebecca is a registered dietitian and she works at the Children's Hospital here in Oklahoma City. Today we're going to talk about a little health and wellness and when it comes to drink stimulants and the options that are out there for you guys when you're on the road. There's a bunch of options out there, but today yes. we're going to talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly. So, so Rebecca, what do you think of when you when you see these products? I think sugar, sugar, fake sugar, and a lot of money. Okay, so with energy drinks, you're getting either a lot of sugar or artificial sweeteners, which have their own downside, um, and then the stimulants. The best choice with these, of course, is going to be the smallest drink that you can get and real sugar. Real sugar is better than any of the artificial sweeteners or high fructose corn syrup. So go with the smaller and the real sugar. Okay, so then with this big boy right here, even mm. though it says zero sugar, does that mean it's still worse than these little guys over here? Yes, it can be. The, the zero sugar means it has artificial sweeteners in it, and artificial sweeteners can cause different problems than regular sugar. Our organs just do not like artificial things in our bodies. Okay, well let's move on to the pop. Okay. Let's talk pop. All right, so same zero calorie. It's gonna have the artificial sweeteners in it, the diet, the artificial sweeteners. There are the options out there with the real sugar. So look for those. Look for the real sugar and the smallest container. So then if I were gonna pick any one of these, which one would you recommend over the other? Um, actually, probably the Pepsi or the Mountain Dew, but again, look for the ones with the real sugar, not the high fructose corn syrup. Okay, so what about our good old coffee drinks? Yay Everybody for coffee. Everybody likes their coffee. Yes, <laughs> so with coffee, you're better off getting your black coffee and maybe just adding some cream okay. and staying away from the sugar or the fake sugars. I like sugar in my coffee. Yes. I like it, so should I just maybe do like one teaspoon? Is that, yes. you know, okay? Because yeah. normally I'm teaspoon. putting like two tablespoons. Yes. So yeah. one put teaspoon a, is a little, okay, a little, little bit of sugar, okay. Uh -huh. Gotcha. <laughs> so moving on to the sparkling water, or just, the, I believe this is just the flavored water. Is this a good yes, choice? Yes, this one is actually a great choice because it has no sugar and no artificial sweeteners. It has natural flavors and the carbonated water. So if you like your carbonation, this is a great choice. Another alternative for cost efficiency, get some club soda and slice up some citrus fruit, some lemons, limes, or oranges in your club soda gonna save you in the pocketbook and it has a nice flavor. Nice. Then there's juice. juice. Yeah, <laughs> juice. This one is pulp free so you're not getting into the fiber or the good things. Um, so yeah, straight sugar right into your bloodstream. However, much better choice than the rest of the, the table. Rest of yeah. Them. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. juice and water are ultimately mm -hmm. gonna be your better, better options mm -hmm. when you're on the road just to you know make sure. So what ultimately, what does the sugar and the artificial sweeteners do to your body? What are they doing? What are they causing in your system? The sugar um, messes with your kidneys, your heart, and it's calories. It's empty calories while you're sitting there and driving for hours and hours. And then you do get that rush, but then you have that sugar crash. So it's yes, better if you, can, likes that yes, crash. if you can get rid of needing that sugar rush and then you're going to have that crash, your body is going to be much happier. And then nice. the artificial sweeteners, um, very damaging to brains, livers, kidneys, all the organs. What is the difference between, let's, for example, a Pepsi, a regular Pepsi and a Pepsi Zero? Okay, so with the regular Pepsi, you're going to have high fructose corn syrup and likely some sugar. You go with the diets or the zero calorie sodas, you're going to look for aspartame, sucralose, Splenda, 
stevia, and erythritol. What can they look for with the artificial sweeteners like in the energy drinks then? In the energy drinks, this nice like? monster, this one is the erythritol and the sucralose. Okay. Rebecca, so ultimately, what would be the best option over anything on this table? Real water. You can slice up some citrus fruit, like lemons, limes, oranges, put it in the water. Cucumbers, sliced up cucumbers, they are very good for a detox effect, um, something that may sound a little crazy. Um, fresh herbs, like a sprig of thyme or a sprig of rosemary, really adds a lot of flavor to some water. They're not artificial, they're not fake, and Water is a cleanser. Water is good for our bodies. Nice. Well, thank you so much, Rebecca. We really enjoyed having you today. And stay tuned because within the next couple of weeks, we're going to be joined by Rebecca in the truck stops talking about some healthier alternatives that you can choose from. See you next time. And now you know what to look for whenever you're picking up those sugar rushes and maybe be a little bit more cognizant of what's inside those labels. Crazy, Isella. It those, is. What's inside those drinks? It is. I don't think a lot of the times we think about it. Obviously, when you're younger, we think we're so tough. We can, we got <laughs> this. We can drink whatever, eat whatever. But the older you get, and then when your health gets a lot more serious, that's when you have a reality check, and you're going, exactly. "Wait a minute, what am I drinking? What's really going in my body? What's exactly. going to benefit me?" what's not especially for our drivers that are on the road a lot and they sit down a lot so exactly. and I, I can understand you know at that moment they're wanting to stay awake so it's so easy for them to want to drink an energy drink yes. or some kind it's, of caffeine it's, it's to have easy, that rush because it's right yes. there when they go into these gas stations it's right there there's not I mean there's a selection but you have to be a little bit more cognizant of what you're choosing and looking at those labels because like Rebecca said there's so many things with artificial sweeteners in it that are more damaging to your body than the, the, the regular yes. stuff. So. And those are things we don't think about obviously on a daily but Rebecca gave us a lot of good information yes. good tips so hopefully that was That's helpful right. for you. So what's next Isela? Well Nikki we promised Hollywood we had an opportunity to sit down with our friends from the trucker based out of Burbank Hollywood area and let me tell you that we had an awesome time we got to go behind the scenes now the trucker just like us they go on once a week and they bring you the latest news in the industry. Check it out for yourself. How's it going everybody? Landon with the Truck Boss Show. Thank you so much for joining us on this special segment for this week's show. Next to my dear friend David of the Good Trucker. To see you, my friend. Hey, thanks for joining me on this show. We're excited Pleasure. about it. Pleasure. Excited and thankful to be in your studios here in, in Hollywood, California. Uh, just a beautiful place and you were Welcome joking. Welcome to Hollywood. Thank you. You know, going from Oklahoma City to the Hollywoods, just a, you know, pretty awesome experience, but you know, the palm trees are outside the window as we're sitting here filming this, yeah. but uh, the sunshine is nowhere to be found. They're a little damp today, my friend. I know. It's bad <laughs> when you walk in and say, you guys, you're going to love when you leave because it's going to be beautiful <laughs> on Thursday and Friday. You so. should have been here last week. That's right. That's right. Well, David, I'm excited to be a part of this show with you because we wanted to uh, pull back the curtains, per se, on sure. what the trucker's all about. Sure. And so I've got a few questions I want to ask you, and for all of our viewers out there, there's many of them, just like with the Truck Boss Show, they just come across awesome content online and and so we're excited to be able to talk and, with you and learn more about how the trucker got started and Great. more. So, you ready right. for a few questions? Fire away. Awesome. When it comes to the first one, how did your show even get started? What was the vision? So, the trucker itself has been around 31 mm -hmm. years. Uh, we're America's number one newspaper. Uh, and, you know, we've got a fine group of writers uh, right. in uh, Little Rock, Arkansas is where we're based out of for that publication. And you mentioned content, mm -hmm. right? We've been putting out content for 31 <clears throat> years. And people have kind of right. known the trucker as you know, kind of the Wall Street Journal of trucking, if you will. And uh, I come from a digital news background. And so mm -hmm. when I joined the team, it was kind of like, how do we cross that chasm and come into the digital age? And right. so that was kind of the vision with the Trucker News Channel. That's exciting. So if someone is watching the trucker, they go onto the website, watch one of your shows. Yeah. What do you hope they walk away? And what, what do you want their experience to be like? Well... Number one, hopefully they've learned something. I mean, you know, we are a news show. We're, right. we're you know, uh, we're a little humorous. You know, I won't say that we're talk soup for, right. for trucking, but, uh, you know, we tend to throw a little bit of humor in when we can. Absolutely. You know, sometimes we have to, to report the hard-hitting stories, too, and exactly. those are hard to make funny. Yeah. So, <laughs> that's very true. <laughs> but hopefully that's what they come away with. You know, we, we do everything from hard-hitting news to humorous news. Uh, we do some technology news. Right. So that's what I hope they come away with is they've learned something. That's exciting. Um, you mentioned you've been around for 31 years. Mm -hmm. You've got a great team, multiple offices across the nation. Yep. Here on the West Coast, Central, as well as on the East Coast. Yep. Break down the team a little bit because, I mean, you've got all those who help with production, copywriting, and more. So Yeah. So the core team for the show 
is um, we've got uh, Paul, our director, Rob, our editor. Uh, those folks uh, are both here and also in Little Rock. And then we've got a full team of writers. We've got Lyndon, Dorothy, Clint, and Megan. That's awesome. uh, we've got our production crew that uh, is Pat. Uh, you met mm -hmm. Pat today. Mm -hmm. and, and, uh, so those are really the hardcore people behind the scenes of, of the actual show. That's awesome. And, and what's great is everybody that we've met here, our Truck Boss team is here with our executive producer as well. Mm -hmm. And just been so welcoming. And everybody's such uh, a professional, very good at what they do, but at the same time, um, a lot of fun to be around. We've had so some fun today. Absolutely. We've got some really bad jokes. Maybe, yeah. maybe you'll see some other yeah. time. Uh, you will see it. Let's just, <laughs> let's just be honest. Um, you, when, when it comes to being the, the, you know, the Wall Street of trucking, per se, uh, always pumping out great content, new content, there's a lot of challenges in that. Mm -hmm. What can our viewers and your viewers expect in 2019 with all that's going on with online yeah. advertising and more? So, you know, the show, <clears throat> the show continues to grow in minutes, if you will. Mm -hmm. you know, we, I think the first show that we put out was only a 10-minute show. We've kind of grown from there. Right. Um, you know, this next year we're going to expand into you know weather. We'll mm -hmm. expand into sports, and when I mean sports, it's going to be more of NASCAR, uh, right? You know, bass pro fishing, things like that. That would be geared toward our audience viewer. Um, but even though the show in length will grow, I think one thing as digital marketers, mm -hmm. both of us, we have to realize that online attention spans are short. They are. So we can't make it war and peace, and this can't be an hour-long show. We're probably already too long with this segment here, so we'll, we'll speed it up. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but that's, that's what we're shooting for, is to bring other new things to the show. Well, promise me, when you go fishing, that you invite us. Okay. Uh, we'll be glad to cut that show as well with you. you so you, the truck can be there, the truck boss show can be there. <laughs> we'll have our own deal. fishing tournament. Exactly, exactly. Um, you know, on a not-so-serious note, mm -hmm. you've done a lot. 31 years, the last mm -hmm. couple of years have been very successful with the trucker. Mm -hmm. Um, what have you enjoyed the most? What was the most exciting or the, the show that stands out the most that you can think back on? You know, I, it's not one show per se, mm -hmm. but I can tell you a theme. If you've watched it, we're on episode 37 this week. If you've watched this show long enough, you'll know one thing that has been this theme that's run through the news all the time is chicken stories. For some reason, we have covered more gosh darn chicken stories uh, I'm in sorry, the news. It's, it's something about trucks tipping over and chickens running wild. We had another uh, truck tip over where PETA came and they wouldn't give the chickens back. And so uh, maybe hey, it's the Chicken News Network. Is it used to be you know, know. cat videos, now it's yeah, chicken it's videos. Chicken, videos. chicken trucking it, you know, videos evolving. And so what we're known for. We'll try to get the dog side of things. So you okay. stay on the chickens and cats, we'll do the dogs. <laughs> Fair game. The good stuff. Uh, for all of our viewers that are watching right now on the Truck Boss mm -hmm. Show, uh, if they wanted to learn more about the trucker or check out one of your shows, yeah. where can they go on social media as well as your website? Yeah, so they can always find us. You know, we, we put all of our full episodes on our Facebook page. Uh, you can also, the easiest way and the fastest mm -hmm. way is just go to thetrucker.com. Okay. Uh, we're also, if you have uh, Roku or Amazon TV or Apple TV, you can find us on the Farm and Ranch Television Network. Oh, that's actually, stream that into your house. I didn't know that. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, it's very cool distribution for us. And, but the easiest way is just to go to the trucker.com. Gotcha. Well, David, I can't thank you enough for inviting us, having us. And My also, pleasure. it was great to be on your show as well. Yeah, and thank so you for it, helping. It's just been a lot of fun this week. Hope you enjoyed this special segment of the Truck Boss Show, learning more about the trucker. So go to the website, the trucker.com. We'll see you on the next segment. Thanks. I thought it was an amazing time with the trucker. Hollywood, California is such a cool place. I think if you've never been there, you got to go out there and check it out at least once in your life. It's really, really cool. It is. It was fun to be there. I mean, David and the guys were very, very, I would say they were just so generous and so humble. And but, welcoming, you know, yes. They were, but, you know, us being there for the first time, I think we felt like we were movie stars on <laughs> set, you know? But, hey, we really enjoyed it, even though it rained a little bit. It got better, but the beach... Just California alone is a beautiful state, Nikki. Yes, but it really is. Yes. Now we're going to switch it up because you know what? We have something up that's going to be coming up in the next week. We actually got to sit down with our friends a couple weeks ago from Southwest Trailers, Nikki. That's right. We talked to them about their old and new trailers that can be bought, and they also do repairs there. So you don't want to miss that next week. Yes. It, we also had a good time there. But that's not the only thing we have coming up next week. Nope. Nikki. We got what's up in trucking. So you also do not want to miss out on that. No, you already know that. Truck Boss is always here to bring you the latest in the industry, and we're going to have a lot of good information coming up, so you don't want to miss out. That's right, Isela, and we do this, why? Because you're the boss.